Hi, I'm Emily with the Meridian Library District. Welcome to Library Bites. Well, whether you're away from your polling district or trying to avoid going out in crowds due to the coronavirus, voting by mail is an easy way to make sure that you're able to vote in this year's election. Requesting your mail-in ballot is quick and easy. Let me show you how. So this here is the Ada County Elections website. You can see that it is adacounty.id.gov slash elections. And of course, a, a Google search for Ada County Elections will also bring you right here. So you can see that they are uh, promote, uh, they've got some information here on uh, voting in elections during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. And so you can browse that information. They're trying to keep their, their uh, voters and poll workers both safe and they do uh, recommend voting absentee. Um, you can, of course, still show up to the polls to vote in person. Uh, so if you are on that front page of the website and you are looking to vote absentee for a mail-in ballot, you are going to hover over this voter information link and then go down here where it says vote by mail. Um, and so there's uh, instructions here on how to vote absentee and there's even a great little video here that's uh, very nicely done it shows you exactly what comes in your absentee ballot how to fill it out and where to send it back to um, so if you would like to request your ballot you need to do that um, at least 11 days prior to the election so make sure that you get that done in advance as soon as possible as you can um, and then you'll want to make sure that you when you return your ballot, uh, you can either return your ballot by mail or you can return it to the Dropbox in front of their office, which their uh, address is listed right here. So if you're a little bit worried about whether or not your, um, your ballot is going to make it in time in the mail, you can always drop it off right there in front of their building um, right up to 8 o'clock on the... Uh, Day, election day, November 3rd. So to request your absentee ballot, you can click right here where it says request an absentee ballot online. You can also click here where it says to download that request form and you can print that out, fill it out by hand and mail it in. Um, but we're gonna go here to request an absentee ballot online. It brings us to a different web page. It's actually the Secretary of State web page. And you can see that there's some information um, your completed application must be received by 5 p.m. on October 23rd of this year. And some other things you need to have your uh, driver's license, identification card, that kind of thing. Um, and then, so you're just gonna go through and say, I'm not a robot, and then begin. And there's questions, you just fill it out like a normal form online, quick search, it'll find you. And that's how you, uh, request your absentee ballot. You do need to be registered to vote already when you go to request that ballot. So there you have it. If you've got just five minutes today and you're thinking about how you're going to be voting in this year's election, make sure that you visit the Ada County Elections website to request your mail-in ballot. And remember, if you're voting by mail, you'll need to drop that in the mail uh, early enough to get have time to get to the elections office or you can always drop that off at uh, the uh, drop-off locations at the elections office right up until the end of, uh, the end of voting on November 3rd at 8 p.m. See you next time. Thanks.